Let's look ahead to this last preseason game. The defense, we understand, they've played pretty well in the preseason. The starters will not play. Um, should Jay Gruden play the starting offense, Dan, given how poorly they've looked in the first three games, or are you with him on sort of keeping him healthy? Absolutely not. I can't believe that this has become a topic. <laughs> uh, first of all, what happens if you do that and they play badly again? Right. right. Th then you've, yeah, you've done something win. completely different than what every other NFL team does, and you've hurt their, if this confidence is the reason, you've hurt it even more. But the, I mean, the absolute worst case scenario is someone gets hurt, and then you're dealing with seven days of noise, 10 days of noise about that. There's, I just don't see the upside. I mean, the, the absolute best case scenario is you throw them out there for one or two series and they play really, really well against backups in a meaningless game. I just don't see how the upside justifies I it. That, I thought most teams play their first string for like one series in the final game. That's like one tune up. It's not, not everybody's starting second stringers, are they? I thought, no, not am I on an island the here? Board, but for the most part, I know there's really some variance. I think it's pretty. Said. I think it's pretty standard now not to you, do that. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's Brandon, nothing. There's nothing to agree? gain. Nothing to gain. If you put them out there, you're just trying to prove something some to the people rhythm, that don't matter. A guy matter. who's got to learn a new but offense and, and, and in the pocket. <laughs> so they look great. <laughs> right. I mean, what if the second series is bad? Then you put them out for a third series. If the third series is bad, but if they score a touchdown, then against the backups, then at least you shut up the people who are saying, "Oh, they haven't scored a touchdown." Who cares what people say? If they get blown out against Houston, all this doesn't matter. Like, it's who are you trying to prove? Whatever, too. Who do you want to stop talking? Like, you got to deal with the distractions. But, but Gruden did say there was a 10% chance then. Yeah. What was that all about? Just keeping things interesting for us. <laughs> right. I guess. There's something else to, something something else to, to talk. blog about. Some reason to watch 7.30 <laughs> right. on Thursday. I, mean, right. I don't know. There's do do extra game. seven on sevens or something in Ashburn um, with RG3 wearing the, the red don't hit me jersey or something. Don't. Don't put them out there. It's, it just has disaster written all over it. You know what, like health-wise, and like Jay Gruden said, his biggest concern coming out of the preseason is health. They've, they've fared pretty well. Even the couple scares that they had in the last game, Arakpo and Morgan Moses, I guess Jordan Reed too, they all seem like they're going to be totally fine for week one. They've had no serious issues. I don't see why you would roll the dice on that. So you don't, and, and you guys expect the, you, you sort of are buying into the vanilla offense of the, of the preseason. Don't worry too much. It doesn't matter. The results of preseason historically haven't mattered. So once we get to Houston, you expect the offense to look a lot better. Is sort of what I'm hearing. I think a lot different. I think yeah, definitely. If you look have a whole game to play, you would think, yeah. You know okay. what? I mean, over time. Oh, I think the most interesting thing we're going to be talking about going into the Houston game is those Houston pass rushers yeah. and the Redskins <laughs> yeah, offensive line because the true. offensive line yeah. has kind of been. And that's the what we don't talk about. RG three isn't perfect. But he's, he, I mean, if you got guys coming at you all day. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's an absolutely a, a key part of the offensive struggle. Sure, I would say that. It's yeah. not all on RG3. Yeah. And I think that's why Gruden yesterday and the day before saying, you know, our identity is going to be more of a running team. Yeah, we brought in Deshaun Jackson. We've got this great receiving core. But if you expect us to be flinging around 40 times a game, forget about it. But, but so, are they going to be as good a running team if, they can, if, if RG3 continues to struggle like this? I, that'll no, be something to watch yeah. for. We'll see. We'll see. You guys are saying don't don't worry too early this preseason. I agree. I agree. Focus right. on watching the uh, backup running backs on Thursday. That'll be a big drama. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or the kicking yeah. game. Right. Yeah, or the kicking All game. All right. Sure. Uh,